Jillian here. Today I'm doing something a little bit different in that I'm talking to you live. So, hello. Um, I'm scrapbooking this photo of my husband's grandmother. Uh, it was taken on her wedding day in 1927, and it's such a romantic, um, girly bridal photo that I thought it was the perfect opportunity to use some of the new um, Maggie Holmes Shine collection. And Maggie's actually going to help me out with this collection a lot. So um, this is the photo that I'm going to be using. And then I just wanted to kind of walk through some of the papers that I had pulled out um, to use for this layout and kind of share my logic with you. So 1927, um, almost 90 years old, um, this, well not this exact photo, this is actually um, a duplicate that I made. The original is much larger and it lives in the family's photo album at my in-laws. So um, I just scanned and reprinted a copy of this photo to live in my heritage albums. So that said, these um, are some of the papers that I had pulled. These are from the Shine collection and um, I had already used this on a previous heritage layout and this is the one that I immediately thought of when I um, wanted to scrapbook this photo. It's just this beautiful floral and uh, it actually reminds me of some sheets and um, curtains that my mother had in her bedroom uh, when I was a kid. It just, it reminds me of that Ralph Lauren fabric that she had. So um, I do want to save a little bit of this to use on a layout about my mom for that reason, but uh, I do want to uh, try to incorporate this uh, pattern for sure with this photo. So some others that I had pulled out um, were this black and white floral, and I don't know about going floral on floral, but I wanted to have options. Um, I love this pink kind of random polka dot. I, I really want to go like super girly with this layout. I'm not uh, one to scrapbook like super girly photos um, since I don't consider myself one of those girls. Um, so I just thought this was a perfect opportunity, this romantic bridal photo. Um, and then also this black and white stripe. Now it's pretty bold and I may not use it because it's so bold and this is a softer photo, but I just kind of wanted to throw that in there um, as a neutral. So these are all great patterns, but none of them could really work as a background for me. I think that they would be too busy and that they would detract from the photo. But I definitely want to use one or some or maybe all of these. So I'm going to keep those to the side and then pull out some other um, things that I had found in my stash. So next we're going to go back in time, not very far, um, to the confetti collection from Maggie Holmes. So I have this scrap of this like branch paper and I thought that it would work well with the photo. It's kind of, um, well it is a smaller scale than these slightly and so that's important when mixing patterns is to mix up your scale so they're not all competing. And then this pink chevron which is the reverse of this which is what I bought it for but I thought this was a nice, a nice soft pink um, like repeating pattern that could complement these. Um, I had pulled out some, oh here's another one from another couple from the confetti collection. Uh, this floral I love. I thought um, if I don't use this paper then I'm definitely going to use this paper. Uh, it's, it's just so beautiful. So that's an option. Um, and then this, I also was thinking backgrounds. So this is a, a good background to use. It's pretty neutral. It is more white than I want to go. So we'll see, but I'm just keeping it out just in case. And then next, I'm going to go back a little further to the open book collection. I thought this would be pretty, this kind of fade. Um, I thought this might be pretty if I decided to go like with this, this route with the floral. I thought that would be a nice, um, nice touch. This is another background option I had pulled out. I think this is from her first collection with Cray Paper. Um, I have it, I have the paper pad, so uh, I thought this would be a good background and it's more uh, of the same kind of tone as the photo. And then I also have a couple of sheets of vellum. I got this at Michael's. Um, I'm not really sure why I bought it. I don't use a lot of gold. 
Um, I just feel like I'm not that fancy and my photos aren't that fancy. But anyway, um, I have this and I thought it would be a good opportunity to use all the gold and all of the pink things. Also, I have this um, pink doily uh, or doily on pink vellum. Uh, also from the original Maggie Holmes collection, it came in the paper pad with this, with the sheet. And then this is from the, uh, oh, uh, this is from, not style board, the one before that, flea market, I think. Um, I, I had the paper pad, so uh, I thought like the music notes would just be a perfect uh, complement to like the theme of the day and then the um, the tones it's not like a, a, a white so I thought that it matched the tone well and I think this is a background paper that I'm going to go with and then I had also pulled out my trusty uh, camera as embellishment pattern paper so I might cut a few of these up uh, the older looking cameras since this photo was taken in 1927 so that's it so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on as normal. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so here's what I decided to go with. I'm going to use the music note pattern paper as my background, so I'll cut that down to 9 by 12. And then I'm going to use these patterns here as well as this gold um, vellum doily. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take that away since it messes up my light. Um, I'm going to use these patterns uh, just to kind of layer. I'm going to use these thickers from the new Maggie Holmes Shine collection. I'm using these older Dear Lizzie tile stickers, gold on the back, and then these are white tiles with gold text. And uh, I think this was part of the first order I ever placed at Two Peas a long time ago. So, fun fact. I'm going to use the um, cardstock stickers from the Shine collection. I'm going to use some gold mist probably. Um, I plan on probably cutting up some of these cameras like I said. Um, and then I might use some doilies. You can never have too many doilies, right? Who knows? Um, and then these brads are from my mind's eye and I got them a while ago to put in my wedding album and they're not really my style. So um, there are like maybe a couple in here I think I might use because they look pretty vintage. So um, I thought that would be good to kind of use with these papers uh, and I did decide to use the black and white I think I'm going to use it in a very small dose so that it's not too graphic with them um, uh, like a vintage photo so let's get started okay so fortunately those pizza grease looking stains are off to the side that I'm going to trim the three inches from so I can keep those clefts on the left side of the layout and then I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my pattern paper trimmed down. I didn't really have an idea um, or really like a sketch in mind or anything when I put this layout together. Um, so I just made random cuts into brand new pieces of paper. Again, this is major progress for me. <laughs> so I went ahead and matted the, uh, the photo with that gold foil vellum doily pattern paper. And I'm going to add more gold to this. Um, than I usually would um, because, I, like I said, I wanted to make it uh, more girly. Or maybe I should say more feminine. I live in a house with two boys, so this is the most feminine I've gone in a while. Anyway, I wanted to feature that floral piece of paper in the back, the, the pink one, and so what I'm going to do is make sure that that is what you see the most of. I end up not using the black and white branch paper from the confetti collection because uh, it just didn't really match the tones in the photo or the pattern paper. It was just too white for me. So I end up going uh, in the end with the pink chevron and the black and white stripe. So I'm going to use these thickers from the Shine collection. I think they're called Details to spell out my title. I um, was originally just going to call this layout Palmyra. That's the bride's name. But when I saw the um, sticker sheet from also from the Shine collection, it has that uh, scripted word beautiful and I decided that this would be a great opportunity to use that. I wouldn't use it otherwise. So next I'm going to pull out the Dear Lazy Tile stickers and I'm going to pull out the numbers for my date, 1927. I'm going to do that in the gold text as well as the white text on gold just so I have options and then it will be a game time decision to see which ones I want to use. 
So now I'm uh, going to pull out a doily. I really love um, Paul Myers' dress and her veil in this photo, and I wanted to kind of um, mirror that somewhere else on the layout and just bring some more texture. So I'm going to layer the doily uh, behind her photo in the top right to balance out the title on the bottom left. And here I am realizing that those stickers are too large, so I decided to pull out the tile stickers again. Uh, originally I wanted to spell out the word Palmyra in white, um, but I didn't have any A's, so I uh, just did it in gold instead, and I'm glad um, that it worked out that way because I think I preferred in the gold. So now I'm committing to this doily placement, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and get um, things stuck down. Now I wanted to bring some more pink into, or something, to the right side of the photo. Uh, just the way everything was layered there, it felt like something was missing. So I decided to bring in this pink vellum from the original Maggie Holmes collection. And um, it was, it looked kind of weird as a, you know, a thin strip of paper there. So I decided to just make it a banner and cut a triangle out of the bottom. So next I'm looking at this pattern paper to see if I want to cut out any of these cameras to use and I didn't because they didn't look, the pink ones that I liked didn't look old enough. Um, it, they didn't really match the time period so I decided not to. So then I pull out these My Mind's Eye brads because um, I realized that I'm going to need some more pink in the bottom left of the layout um, since it's all concentrated over to the right. So here I am just diligently working on getting those brads out of the packaging. I also pulled out some enamel dots because brads aren't my favorite to use, that's why I have almost that entire package left. So I pulled out um, some Studio Calico and some enamel dots from my Messy Box subscription. And next I'm going to put the word beautiful on some foam dots so that it gives some uh, dimension to the page. And I won't make you watch that because I had to cut several of them in half. Um, but I really like how that looks, and then the name Palmyra just um, snugly fits underneath there. So I decided to use the gold tiles for the year, and I'm going to put those um, in the top right so that it kind of balances the, the gold in the bottom left, and then you have that diagonal line. And then I'm going to use the, um, the lines right there to write my journaling. I just wrote something simple, uh, like Paul Meyer is pictured here on her wedding day, June 18th, 1927. Uh, what I've noticed with my family, uh, when I am working on these layouts, um, they're happy to give me information uh, when I ask for it, um, you know, about specific photos, but it's not until I show them a finished layout that they kind of become ex even more excited about it and then they want to give me additional information so I have learned to um, keep some extra room for journaling uh, that way when I uh, show this to my in-laws you know if my father-in-law has uh, you know anything he remembers or anything he wants to add we have space to do it as you can see here I end up putting the brad next to the year and then I ended up using uh, just a flower sticker and a couple enamel dots down by the title here is a look at my finished page. I really enjoy sharing these photos and stories with you guys, and I'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching!